2015 VASP conference. I also respectfully acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land, the Wurundjeri people. So we're delighted that our Minister and Deputy Premier, the Honourable James Molino, is able to be with us this morning. And Minister, your presence here today signals the interest that you take in the role of secondary principal, so we're really pleased to have you on our side. As well, uh, we're very pleased to have Leela Mullazak, who is my counterpart from New South Wales, who's with us today. And also Mary Pendergast is lurking towards the back of the room with a delegation from Queensland. So we're delighted that you were able to join us. You're getting with the strength. Actually, it's Mary Coverdale. My apologies. So this year, we're also thrilled with the additional number of people who have registered for our conference. It's well in excess of what we've had last year, and the numbers have been growing over the years. So thanks for your interest in coming along. We hope that the theme of the conference, empowering and engaging secondary school principals, becomes a reality for you over the next two days. I congratulate you on your decision to leave your busy schools. I do know that being away for two days will mean that the work will just pile up in your absence, so the rest of the week will be busy as a consequence of you being here with us today. But the purpose of VASP, a key purpose of VASP, is to encourage collegiality and engagement. And through this conference, we continue to explore new ways that we can forge opportunities that are here for us because we are part of a strong system of schools. So your participation in activities such as this conf conference is vital in ensuring there's greater collaboration across schools. So we've put together a program of speakers and workshops to stimulate your thinking and empower you in the important role that you play in your schools and in our system. As an addition tonight, we've added a dinner speaker and so we hope that that will encourage professional discourse across the dinner table. So we're in an era where the community's view of public education is driven to a large extent by facile market forces that capitalise on the anxieties of parents for their children and also the dumbing down influence of some aspects of the media. So as secondary school principals and leaders, we have a heavy burden to promote the public good inherent in having a strong state education system. We cannot be squeamish about this or project defensively with chips on our shoulders. So in preparing the brochure that's on your tables, why choose a government secondary school, we want to support you in articulating the common good served by having an outstanding public education system. Some of you I know are loyal and long-standing members of VASP and you're very familiar with the services that we offer. Others I see are relative newcomers. So the services that are listed in the brochures that you have on your table give you an idea of the breadth of what we have to offer. Some of our services are proactive, others are at the point of need in individual schools. So whilst you're here over the next couple of days, I encourage you to engage with our VASP personnel to find out more about those services so you really can capitalise fully on your membership of our organisation. So I hope you enjoy the program and that you extend your network of supportive colleagues and to initiate conversations with people that you don't already know. There are many wonderful and very clever and talented people in this room, so make use of them. So I now invite our new VASP field officer, Robert Newton, who's going to be our MC for the next couple of days. So thank you, Rob.